Hello and welcome to In Your Pool's How To Guide section. In this video, we will walk you through the process of replacing the Jandy Aqualink RS Auxiliary Power Center circuit board. The Aqualink RS control system has multiple configurations. The system in this video has two interlinked control boxes to handle up to 16 functions. Each power center has its own unique printed circuit board, or PCB. This guide shows you how to replace that PCB. Step 1. Open the auxiliary power center door and locate the front of the PCB. Step 2. Unscrew front cover. Release the front cover of the PCB by removing the two upper middle screws. Step 3. Rotate cover out. Rotate the cover down to remove it from the power center box. Step 4. Unscrew PCB. Release the printed circuit board by removing the two top corner screws. Step 5. Rotate the PCB down and pull it out of its bottom slots. Step 6. Remove 4-pin terminal. Pull the 4-pin terminal off the top of the PCB. Step 7. Disconnect 8 auxiliary terminals from the bottom edge of the PCB. Each cable should be labeled to ensure proper placement when reconnecting. Step 8. Remove 2-pin terminal. Pull the 2-pin terminal off the right back side of the PCB. Step 9. Reconnect cables to new PCB. After you have detached and removed the old PCB, you can proceed to reconnect the wiring to the new circuit board. Step 10. Place the tabs on the bottom of the PCB into the slots and rotate the PCB up. Step 11. Secure PCB. Secure the PCB to the control center frame with the two corner screws. Step 12. Replace the front cover. Slide the bottom edge of the front cover over the bottom edge of the PCB. Rotate up and secure with two screws. You have now successfully replaced the PCB in your Jandy Aqualink Auxiliary Power Center. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll free at 877-372-6038 or visit us online at www.inyopools.com.